Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me, first impressions, review. We are going to be checking out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the Photo Focus Concealer, and I'm going to be contouring and highlighting with the Tartiest Pro Glow Palette. So my eyes are done and I have primer on. So what we're going to be doing is just the face, contour, blush, all that stuff and lips. So let's go ahead and start off with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation here on YouTube, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It's only $5.99, and I really love Wet n Wild products. The shade I am in is Bronze Beige. So I kind of winged it at Walgreens yesterday, so I hope this is my shade. It comes with this little spatula, which is super cute and convenient. Well, this is like a great tool if you don't have acne, but if you do have acne and you use this little spatula, you put it all over your face, like all over your pimples, and then you dip it back into the product, it's probably not a good idea because you're just going to get bacteria back in there. So I do recommend if you do have acne or if you have like um, an infected pimple or something like that, put it on the back of your hand and then dab it with your brush or whatever else because then you're just going to put it back into the, pro into the bottle and it's just going to like contaminate it. So, I'm actually using another product, so it is also a first impressions, on this beauty sponge right here. It's from the brand EcoTools. It is the Perfecting Blender Duo. It came with this one and a little smaller one right here. So, I'm going to be using the small one for contouring and then the large one for my foundation and blending out my concealer. So, I'm just going to use the fat part of it and go ahead and blend everything out. So right off the bat, I do notice that it dries really quickly. You're going to want to work this into your skin as soon as you apply it to your face because it does dry out rather quickly. And if you've already done your eyes, be careful that you don't swipe off your eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Fix Plus and spray it on my beauty sponge just to kind of like rehydrate it. I really like this beauty sponge it's like super bouncy and soft and it gets big and it has like perfect for like when you set right here this little sharp edge and then you can use this side for the concealer to get right into your under eye and it's bouncy I think I found my replacement for my morphe beauty sponge yeah so I'm going to go back in and put a little bit more of this foundation just because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like doing it. So the reason why this is a get ready with me is because I'm actually going to do my Mother's Day photo shoot right after here. So what I could do is actually when I'm done with my photo shoot, I can come back on and let you know how the foundation sat on my skin. I'm actually going to be outside in the sun because we're going to do it in a park. So I can let you know how it held up outside with the humidity, with the sun, and give you guys my thoughts. Okay, so right off the bat, I see that it's like great coverage. I mean, I did put a lot. But it's a little bit tacky. It's not that bad. It is a pretty matte finish. Like I don't see like, there's like a little bit of a sheen, but not too much. So before I keep going with my concealer and my contour, I'm going to put this on my lips. It's from Vaseline. It's like a rosy lip treatment. Just to hydrate my lips because my lips are super chapped and dry. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm not drinking enough water. Honestly, it's super hard for me. And I'm trying out this new diet called the Keto Diet. So I need to drink a lot of water. If you want to know more about the Keto Diet or if you want a video on my quick little recipes that I've been doing, just let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so I'm going to dip into the cream contour shade in the Tartius Glow Palette and with like the smaller sharper flat edge of the beauty sponge I'm gonna dip into this all right guys so as you can see this one is a little bit thicker than this one and they're kind of a little messy but don't worry nothing a little concealer can fix and now I'm gonna dip back in it again and just kind of go around my temples and up to my forehead and then 
then you can put a little bit on your chin just to cover that double chin right there and now with the back part of the beauty sponge start blending it out just spray a little bit of fix plus on my beauty sponge because it's a little bit dry Okay, right off the bat, I've noticed it's kind of looking like a little bit muddy, just a tad. So I'm going to see if we go in with the concealer and try and fix it up. And I'm also going to be, you know, baking the bottom so it'll clean everything up. Don't forget your chin. I almost forgot to blend the chin. So now that we have blended the contour shade, I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Now I got the shade Light Ivory only because that was the lightest shade because the other shade, I don't really know the name, but the one after it, it was like a light medium. It was too dark. It was like darker than my than the foundation when I put them next to each other. So I figured, let me just get this light one. But I feel like it's a little bit rosy. It has like a pink undertone. So let's just try it out. See it. If not, I'll just go back in with my regular concealer. Looks like it'll cover any darkness, any dark circles you have in your under eye. But it is pretty bright. And I do notice that this concealer has kind of like a normal to matte finish. My other concealer from Too Faced, the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer, is a little more like dewy. This one's definitely more uh, normal to matte. So what we're going to be doing is highlighting the forehead. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight the chin. And I'm going to be tracing my smile lines because I saw this as a trick. So if you have smile lines like this, cover them with a light concealer and then blend it out and set it and it'll help with the creasing of your smile lines. I'm put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. So now with the uh, pointier side of the beauty sponge, I'm going to go ahead and blend out that concealer. Again, be very, very careful. If you already have your eye makeup done, because it will mess it up. But honestly, this beauty sponge is great for that because look, this side right here, she don't want it again. It's been a little bit. This sharp edge right here is perfect because you can get really close to that shadow and blend out your concealer. Okay, so the concealer does dry rather quickly, so just beware. Remember to be very light, because I tend to be really rough with these beauty sponges, and if you pounce too hard, you will remove some of the product. So just be, just lightly pounce and blend everything out, because I noticed right here I just, I feel like I removed a little bit of my foundation, like I disrupted the foundation and the concealer. So just be very light. So like I said, you do have to move really fast with this concealer. Because I do feel like it dries really quickly and it gets a little hard to blend and then this beauty sponge although I love it it's super bouncy I don't feel like it gets dry really quickly too I mean I do like it that's not like a super negative for me what I'm gonna do is bring a little spray bottle and have it next to me so I can just spritz it with some water instead of having to use my fix plus i'm like literally almost out of my fix plus you see so aside from it drying quickly i really like this concealer and i thought the shade was gonna be too pink but it actually brightens up your face a lot i really like this concealer so i'm gonna go in 
with a sharp edge and just kind of carve out that contour right there. Now let's set the face, set everywhere where you put the concealer, and then we're going to go in with the powdered shade, the sculpting shade, in the Tardius Glow Palette and go over that contour and blend everything out a little bit more. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of cream contouring at all. I prefer powder contouring, I just think it's way easier. But for the sake of this video and trying out the palette, I decided to cream contour. So we're going to go ahead and set everywhere where we put that concealer with the RCMA No Color Powder. Again, we're going to put some in the top. I'm going to go in with the smaller side of the beauty sponge and go into that powder and then just... We gonna bake. Well, now I really never contour my nose, but I'm going to go ahead and just... Start setting that by doing this to your nose it's kind of like a quick little way to contour so it's just gonna make this part lighter and this a little darker so now while that ooh, I almost forgot we have to set the smile lines so now let's bake a little bit now we're gonna go into the sculpting shade in the tardiest palette so this lighter shade right here the powder shade and I'm gonna take this to be honest with you, this is a brush I got on Amazon. It's like this rose, it was part of like this rose gold set. But I know that uh, Morphe has a similar brush, kind of short, fat, and flat like this. So just go into that sculpting shade, tap off the excess. Put this the same place where you put the cream contour. Now this is a wee bit dark. But no worries, we will be cleaning it up when we bake. So like I was saying, we're going to go ahead and set that chin and that forehead with the same RCMA No Color Powder. I completely forgot to do that. And then we're going to go back in with the beauty sponge and that RCMA No Color Powder. And again, with this flat side, carve out that contour just to clean things up a little more. So while all of this is baking, let's set the brows. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Stylist Plumper in the shade Medium Dark. So, so far, I'm really liking the foundation. It has great coverage and for the price, I dig it. Oh, these little hairs. And the concealer as well is really brightening, but it does dry both of them. The foundation and the concealer dry so fast, so you're going to want to work with it really quickly. So let's just remove all of the baking that we just did. I'm going to remove it with this little e.l.f small tapered brush Ooh. I'm gonna get this brush from equal tools it doesn't have any product on it such a nice bright under eye yeah so I didn't do my under eye makeup because I knew I was gonna be trying out concealer and putting on my foundation and all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and do the under eyes right now so I'm gonna start off with this shade right here is from Makeup Geek called Cherry Cola. With this Morphe G28 little flat brush, flat definer brush, we're gonna go into that Cherry Cola color. Smudge this on the lower lash line. Be very careful, this is a dark color. Now I am connecting the lower lash line with the edge of my eyeshadow right here. It just flows better and it looks like a really smoked out look. With this small little Luxie blending brush, it is a 237. I'm going to go into this Studio Makeup on the Go palette, which I used for my transition shade. And it's this like light tan nude color right there. I'm going to swirl my brush in it, tap the excess and just blend that bottom shadow. 
just to smoke it out and so it's not so harsh and now we are going to highlight the inner corners of the eyes and back into that studio makeup on the go palette i'm going to be using this white vanilla matte shade right here and then this vanilla shimmer just mix those two together just pop this in the corners of the eye Now we are going to dust off the baking that I have going on right now. And as you can see, it just sharpened that contour and just cleaned everything up. Now for blush, I don't have anything new for blush. So I'm going to go into my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Pate. Looks like this with my Luxie 512 brush. Dip into that. And then just pop this on these on the apples of my cheeks. I love this blush. It's such a nice color. So pigmented, but not like scary pigmented. Very buildable. I love it. So I'm just going over everything with this big fluffy Eagle Tools brush just to blend everything out so there's no harsh lines let's go into the highlighting shades so the first shade is strobe it is like this vanilla shimmer now the next shade is lit right here is more of a nude nude gold highlight it's more shit like a gold champagne -y shimmer it's definitely way lighter than strobe but I don't know. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's swatched super patchy and like chunky. Now let's go into Stunner, which I think Stunner is the color I'm going to try on my face. But let's swatch it. Ooh, this one feels better. It feels creamier. Okay, so this one definitely swatched a little better. And it's more of a pinky highlight. Like a pinky mauvey highlight kind of. I like this one way better and it's definitely not as chunky as this one. I don't know if the camera can tell the difference. And then the last one is a more like bronzy goldish color called Fire. Oh no, this one actually swatched way better but it felt rougher in the pan. That's a little weird. But I really like this shade. It's like this bronzy shade. Yes. I would definitely wear this in the summer when I have more of a tan. I love. So for the sake of this video, we're going to be putting Stunner, the more pinkier highlight shade. I feel like it just would look better with this look. Okay, so I'm taking this Royal and Land Nickel brush. It is BX90. And I'm going to go into that Stunner shade right there. Let's see. Ooh, chat. really like this highlight I didn't think it was gonna be as pigmented mm. I like let's put some at the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow let me take a closer look As I put the mirror closer to my face, I did notice it a little bit chunky on my skin. Just gonna blend this out a little more. Just because it doesn't apply as smooth as my other highlighting powders. As I'm blending it, it looks a little better, but it is chunky. And it didn't swatch chunky. So far, I'm not a big fan of the highlighting shades. So now let's do the lips and then I'll give you my for sure final thoughts on this palette. So for lips, I'm going to be using the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pasadena. So I'm going to set the face with the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Setting Spray. So my first impression on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, it has really good coverage. I feel like I have a flawless finish right now. 
but my only con if you would say is that it does dry a little quickly so you just have to work with it pretty fast but that's really not a con just you know don't let it sit on your face for a while and the shade I actually winged the shade and it was a pretty good shade they have a pretty good color selection now the concealer I also really liked I thought the shade was going to be too like pinkish for me but it was pretty good and super brightening I feel like it definitely brightened my under eyes and it highlighted great I love this concealer but again just like the foundation it does dry quickly so you do have to go in there and work with it pretty fast and as far as the beauty sponges i really did like them just another complaint they dry pretty fast i don't know if like the air is hitting the table or something but for some reason these do dry pretty fast but they're really squishy and i love the shape great great beauty sponges and now let's go into the tardiest glow palette i did not like this palette at all the highlighting shades are just too chunky some are pigmented some aren't they're just pretty chunky and splotchy i don't know i didn't like the highlighting shades at all the cream contour i think it was a tad bit dark it looked a little muddy on my face but again i don't have much experience with cream contour i don't know i just I prefer to powder contour. I do like the shade Sculpt. I think it's a pretty good color. I really liked it. It's really smooth, really buttery, and I think it did a good job at blending things out. So I'd use this on its own. I do like the look it gave me. I just feel like I have other contour powders and bronzers in my collection that would get me the same result. So that's why I wouldn't repurchase the Tardius Pro Glow Palette. But I do like how my skin looks. I really like the foundation. And I love the concealer. I love the beauty sponges. The Tardius Pro Glow Palette, not so much. But yeah, I really like the way this look came out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my photo shoot, take some pictures with my baby. And when I'm done with the photo shoot, I'll come back on camera and let you guys know how the foundation lasted, how the contour lasted, how everything just sat on the face and how it photographed. Um, I will insert some pictures as well from the photo shoot if you guys would like. Hey guys, so I told you I'd come back and update you guys on how the foundation and concealer looks on my face. And I am really loving it. It has not clinged on to any of my dry patches around my nose or anything. I mean, my smile lines are a little bit like creasy, but not even that much. So all in all, I really like the foundation and the concealer. I think my makeup's lasted pretty good. And I did my makeup like around was it like around three and it's about eight o'clock now so it's lasted pretty long and i was at the park taking pictures so i think it's pretty good thumbs up so this completes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed my get ready with me first impressions review on the products i used today don't forget to subscribe and again thank you guys for watching